welcome to United by Trucks. Today we've got a very special episode of Submit Your Truck. It's late model edition. But first, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there in the UBT community, but especially to my wife, my mother, and my mother-in-law. Appreciate you guys. Happy Mother's Day. Now, let's jump into the episode, Submit Your Truck, Late Model Edition. Yeah, here at UBT, our foundation is based on classic trucks, but we like late model trucks too. And I might even have a new truck, a late model truck, that I want to put on the channel here soon. So we're going to go ahead and grease the skids a little bit with this late model edition of Submit Your Truck. Hey, United by Trucks. This is my O2 Silverado 1500 HD, two-wheel drive, bought brand new. Bought it before my youngest was born. Now she's driving it to school. Completely stock and it's dirty. Sorry. Everything's good. Everything's running good. 157,000 miles. It's got the leather interior. Everything's good. No rips. Everything still works. AC blows cold. All good. Got the uh, six liter LS, so I don't have to swap it. Haha. -ha. It's all good. Future plans would be to lower it after the kids out of school, hop up the motor a little bit, and drive it. Thanks, United by Trucks. Keep on trucking. Hey guys, this is my truck. It's a little, little different speed from what we're used to on United by Trucks. This is a stretched F550. Uh, my brother and I cut the frame and stretched it. We bought the cab already stretched. Somebody else was working on that project. We had a buddy of ours uh, build the engine. It's a 6.0 power stroke. Uh, it's bulletproofed and uh, I've got a pro comp lift on it 8 inch lift I've got 37 inch tires on it 5 inch exhaust all the way back iron cross bumper that bumper is off of a, a 2012 or 2011 to 2016 Ford and I've made it work on this 06 Ford so it sits higher than what it was designed and just kind of looks kind of cool I like how it like how it rides but uh there it is it's all murdered out i love the look of the black the black 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 and then oh here's another project my boy and i are working on we'll do that in a different video What's up guys, welcome to my 2018 Chevy Silverado truck build. What this is, 2018 Chevy Silverado, four wheel drive, 5.3 liter, it's a six speed transmission, double cab, standard bed. We've got a two and a half inch leveling kit up front with aftermarket upper control arm, those are also from Motofab. And we got a two inch lift block kit in the rear, also from Motofab. We're rolling on some black Rhino Glamis 20 by 12s with a negative 44 offset and a 33 3 by 1250 a Toro Trailblade XT tire. Everything up front is pretty much stock except for we did black out the Chevy bow ties and take off the bottom part of the valence. Engine wise is all stock except for right now we have a K&N Cordair intake. I believe it's like the 63 series. Ronin factory 50 caliber bullet antenna. It looks good. You get terrible radio reception. Moving on to the mirrors. This truck came with white sport mirrors. We got a eBay pair of towing mirrors and why Wired in some boost auto parts switchback turn signal lights. We got some tint. We did 20% in the front to match the factory rear and a 5% brow on the windshield. And we'll come down here. We do have a 3 inch MBRP installer series cat back exhaust. And I believe that's it. See, not a whole lot has been done to this truck to take it from stock to kind of not. We got a whole lot of big plans for this thing on my YouTube channel, John Wargo. Plug, sorry, Robbie. But check us out and uh, enjoy this some of this b-roll
All right, gentlemen, not a lot of room here for obvious reasons. We have a 2004 Silverado two-wheel drive V6 4L60E. I have a lot of body damage on the side here due to previous owner had a snow plow, plow snow up against the side. So we need to fix the body damage on the cab, the bed. We're going to clean everything up. We need uh, new tail lights. We got to replace the uh, third brake light. Got a water leak there. We're just going to get rid of stickers, get rid of these bed rails uh, for a tonneau cover. Previous owner left them on after the tonneau cover went away. So we got to clean the backside up. Probably going to lose the trailer hitch and everything. And exterior wise, swap out the rims and tires. We're going to go larger, get us uh, some bigger brakes on there. Probably going to do the uh, 05 to 07 uh, upgrade on the brakes with the larger rotors and that. Uh, get a posi in it at some point. We're going to lose the V6. Go to uh, LT1 uh, Gen 5. Probably uh, do an 8-speed trans. And interior-wise, just looking to clean that up. Get everything cleaned up inside. The carpet needs to be cleaned. And the guy uh, that owned it did a lot of hunting. So there's a lot of dog hair in there. So it needs to be cleaned up. Other than that, uh, mechanically right now it just needs a heater hose replaced uh, it's got a uh, leak there and we're just going to run with the v6 for now and then uh, as we go uh, get her uh, swapped over to v8 get something with some more power in it and get it looking good that's the plans thanks for watching hi there everybody um, this is my submission for united by trucks my name is matt ranke i am from mount pleasant michigan this is my O2 Silverado Extended Cab Classic on 22's full air ride. Not too many body mods. Got a HD hood, black billet grill inserts, smoked headlights, custom graphics. These were done by Hogger's Custom Sign up in uh, Harrison, Michigan. I run my own detail shop, so it's got my um, detail logo. Back here in the graphics as well. It's got some water droplets through here, and then it switches over to a, like a paisley print up through the back stripe. Not too crazy on the interior. Got some pieces painted uh, candy blue, glow shift gauges, and a pod. It's got a nice little system in it. Nothing too crazy. This is a daily driver too, so. It's got an Astro Slim Era Correct tonneau cover on it. <clears throat> Custom pinstriping. This was done by Jerry Dow uh, from Lay and Licks. I believe this was done in 2014 or 15 at uh, Drop and Destroyed. It's in memory of my wife's mother who passed away from colon cancer. That's what there's uh, ribbons on it for. Here's a little better shot of the interior without that sun beating on it. So yeah, that's my truck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What's up UBT? My name's Chester. This is my GMC 2004 Sierra. And as I walk around the truck, I'll tell you the upgrades. In the front, I added the uh, grill inserts for the upper grill, mid grill, and lower grill. <clears throat> Aftermarket headlights with the bumper lights and fog lights. And I painted everything on the front. All the lights are 6K. Uh, on the side of it, <clears throat> I painted the rims, added chrome lug nuts, added the tow mirrors, and removed the pinstriping. The truck currently sits at a 3-4. And the back... <clears throat> My son needed a, a bumper, so I removed my bumper, added a roll pan, put backup lights in it, added a light bar and aftermarket lights. Uh, all those lights in the back are also 6K. Um, I did the bed liner myself, and that's about it on the outside. On the inside, I did, uh, I repainted all the, the gray 
added the center console. It had a static center console and painted everything black. That's just recently. Um, things I want to do in the near future. The truck, like I said, since I have a current 3.4, I want to change that to a 4.6. So I got to add the flip kit and everything to it. I currently have the, uh, I'm currently going to do the Titan conversion rear window to power rear window. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope everybody's being careful out there. Thanks. All right guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this episode of Submit Your Truck Late Model Edition. Some really cool and diverse trucks here. Even though it wasn't quite as long as some of the others, I expect you guys to send in some of your late model trucks. We'd love to see how you guys are messing with your daily drivers or even turning these new trucks into show trucks. So definitely send over your late model trucks to us. We want to see them. All the details you need to know to submit your truck is down in the description. We got a video link there, so just click that. If you haven't subscribe to the channel please consider doing so definitely smash that thumbs up button down below the screen to let us know you like this video and leave a comment let us know what your favorite late model truck in this episode is and we'll catch you next time right here on united by trucks Cue the music